What you guys got another video here for you on how to remove malware from your computer. Now this could be Trojans, malware, adware, any type of infection on your PC. So first off, what we're going to do here is use kill them all to kill off all the processes that are running on the system. And this will allow us to start to run applications. So I'm going to use this program here. This is from Foolish IT from Nick Shaw. You can run this. It's called kill them all. And basically all you need to do here is click the run and it will kill all the processes. There we go. Now you can use programs like Rkill as well, or you can boot into safe mode, which is probably going to be the best solution for you. Now you can see already Windows Defender, once I've re-enabled it after I've injected all the malware on the system, is starting to delete and remove malware from the computer. And that's exactly what uh, Windows Defender is designed to do. And it's the same with any other sort of antivirus or anti-malware program. But that's not all. We need to run other programs. And I'm going to start to run malware by its free and run a scan on the computer to remove malware from the computer. This is going to help free up uh, the resources on the system. And uh, while I'm doing this, also Windows Defender is running and scanning and cleaning malware in the background. So both of them are working in harmony to remove malware from the computer. Now all the software I'm using in this video is free and you can download it and run scans on your computer. There's no need uh, to buy software to remove malware or viruses or Trojans or any of that sort of stuff from your computer. Now if you've been hit with crypto ransomware then this method is not going to be any good for you because all your data is going to be encrypted and hopefully uh, there is a decryption tool for you to decrypt your files. If there isn't then all this process is not going to do much good at all because all your data will be encrypted. As you can see here we've got a bunch of pups installed on the system and these are potentially unwanted programs. There's 69 uh, items detected here. And when I pull down, you'll see other stuff like adware, Trojans, malware, and other types of stuff on the system. So I'm going to re be removing all of this by hitting the quarantine button. This will start to clean up the system. And Malwarebytes is very good at removing malware. And this is what it's designed to do. It'll also remove adware and other types of infections on the computer. So I'm just going to let that do its thing. And uh, what we're going to do is click done. Now also malware can be quite destructive to the operating system. It can make changes to the operating system and make it very difficult to remove malware. So any one sort of method is not going to be working for everyone. You can see here it's changed all of the fonts and everything else on the computer. And this is what malware is designed to do. It's designed to cause, you know, problems with the computer. And you can see here we've now got a bunch of gobbledygook on the system here. I can't even uh, understand what it's doing. So saving log files and stuff like that is not going to be much use. So I will need to resolve that problem as well. Now you may be thinking, oh wow, this is all looking a bit daunting. Might be best just to reformat the system and reinstall Windows 10. But the problem is a lot of people have a lot of programs and a lot of settings that they don't want to mess with. So they just don't want to do that option. So when we go into add and remove programs here, as you can see, this is a virtual machine. I'm going to be removing a lot of stuff from here also, which is going to be adware and other types of junkware on the system. You can go ahead and remove programs as well. And you can see there's a bunch of them on here like pop up ads and other programs, which I'm going to be starting to remove. Now, if you find it easier to reinstall Windows because you don't have a lot of stuff on your computer, then by all means, reinstall Windows and go back to a fresh install. And that way you won't have to do what I'm doing here. But if you like a challenge and you want to learn something, then by all means, go ahead and try and clean up your computer. Some of this stuff is really just sort of adware and other sort of Trojans and malware on the system. It's quite easy to try and resolve. Now this one wasn't a really particular type of difficult cleaning uh, process, but I'll show you the process anyway. So I'm going to right click here and open file in location, and I'm going to start to remove some of this other stuff that is left behind. So you can see Malwarebytes has done a very good job, but there's a ton of stuff that's still left behind on the computer. And I'm going to remove some of this manually and use some programs to clean this. Now you can see the date modified is all jacked up. You can see there's a bunch of different uh, characters on there. So I need to do something about this. And I'm just going here and removing other folders from the computer. 
So what I'm doing here is evaluating how difficult this uh, malware cleanup is going to be and whether it's possible to completely uh, remove all the malware without having any sort of malware left on the system or any sort of structural damage to the operating system where it's going to be too difficult or too time consuming uh, to fix. So this is what I'm doing here. But as it goes, I'm looking here and I can see already that I'm making good ground and the system is starting to come back to me and uh, this is why I'm going to continue to remove the malware. Now of course there's many different types of infections out there and some of them are more difficult than others and some people may find it difficult uh, to remove malware. Now of course what I'm doing here is just running software, it's not that difficult and uh, I am going around manually and removing stuff also and I can't show you every single step of the process because obviously it takes a very long time. So what I'm going to do here is run uh, Hitman Pro and clean off anything that's left behind from Hitman Pro. These will be cookies and any junk files or any malware that is found on the system. So you'll probably see me skip from here to there and that's because I'm running that and I've finished that process and I'm now going to clean all the temporary internet files and any sort of junk that's left on the computer. This is to get rid of any sort of remnants that are hiding inside the temporary internet folder area or any sort of roaming area or any of that sort of stuff. I want to remove all of the contents from there to make sure the system is fully free from any sort of junk files which will be uh, malware and other sort of uh, remnants that are left behind. So I'm going into this PC now and you can see here I can already see folders uh, for malware that's here still. So I just want to make sure I'm removing all of this content here and uh, I'm just going through the process here of removing these. Now you can still see I've got that date modified issue and all the text here uh, seems to be a bit jacked up there but I'll soon sort this out I'm pretty sure I've got an idea where that is residing so I'm going to go in and show hidden files folders and drives and also shown uh, known file types and put the executable uh, take the tick out there so I can see the executable files on there so I can see the files a lot easier now there is a bunch of stuff I can see from the network. When I hover over here, you will see uh, Japanese writing or Chinese writing, and that tells me that this is a, probably a dodgy file that is on my system and I need to remove it. So I'm going to go into the language area here and see whether there's anything inside here that uh, will relate to that um, language issue with my operating system. Maybe there's a change in here. There's no changes here. You can see United States and United Kingdom going to go into date and time here and I'm going to check the region and I've spotted something here on the region you can see there's brackets here double brackets that mean that's uh, been changed okay so you have to be vigilant and you have to be patient and eventually the system will come back to you you can see here I've now changed it to English with just single brackets and I'm just going to apply this and reboot the system you can see some apps may need to be closed or reopened to see a formatting changes. So what I'm going to quickly do here is change these and uh, do a quick restart of the system. I'm just going through here to make sure everything is set OK here and I'll reboot. So obviously what that malware has done is made changes to uh, the language uh, pack here. So I'm just going to quickly uh, change this up and we'll reboot. So once we reboot, hopefully that issue has been resolved. If it hasn't, we'll check other areas but I'm pretty sure it will be resolved so I'm going to go into here and go into this PC and into the C drive and into you can see here already that issue is now resolved so we've fixed that issue now the system is feeling a lot less sluggish and also I want to make sure that this system is fully cleaned and so you need to do a bit more uh, investigation uh, to make sure that there is no more malware on the system so what I'm going to do is go into app data and look in the roaming area and you can see I can see some folders in here which are related uh, to malware and these need to be removed from the computer and you will need to probably remove these manually um, so you can see here this has definitely been date modified I can see the date modified here so you can just go through and delete the stuff that is um, dodgy and it is not related to Windows now the difficult question is how do I know this is malware well because it was in the add and remove programs and there was a bunch of other stuff that was on the computer which wasn't there before and I just know by looking at the type of file and the date modified so I do know uh, that this is going to be malware related. So you can see these two folders are empty here and it was the date 
where that's been modified that's all been cleaned out so there was obviously files uh, added inside here uh, from malware uh, so I'm going to remove those out so of course we can go into the local area and remove a bunch of stuff from in here again you can see more uh, issues here with uh, malware and I'm just going to go through and remove a bunch of stuff now sometimes you might get this where you can't remove them and that's because it's the process is maybe still running or there's something open or it's running in the background and you need to uh, kill that process so I'm just going to quickly uh, kill off anything I can in here and I will investigate this a little bit further uh, in the video so what I'm going to do here is going to go back into this folder and you can see there is an uninstaller there as well and you can also delete the folder if you wish and remove any remnants that way uh, it's entirely up to you to which way you go about doing it now I've skipped some of the process here because obviously it does take a long time and I don't want to make the video uh, too long where you'll get bored so that is the reason why I'm sort of shortening up areas showing you a bit of it and then I'll uh, skip that area you can see now uh, ADW cleanup has found that file which is related to that malware and adware and it will remove that for us so it would have removed all those for us it may not remove some of the remnants uh, but it will definitely remove the main uh, working part of it so i'm going to quickly uh, restart the system again and uh, continue with the removal process now for all you guys that think you can just run one piece of software and uh, be safe that is not true you need to remove uh, malware with many different programs so I'm just going to reset the browsers here just to make sure there is no issues. Now the process I'm showing you here is just a bit random but it's just a way of cleaning up the computer. I generally work by feel as the computer starts to get clean I will start to do different things. Now there's no real set way of removing malware. You can start off doing different things. I'm trying to keep it as simple as I can for you guys so you don't have any issues. So I'm just going to do the cleanup and run a check to make sure the browser is okay and there's no harmful software embedded in the uh, browser at all. I'll leave that running in the background and I shall go in and reset uh, Microsoft Edge. It's important that you reset all the browsers because they could have infections in them, permissions could have been changed and there could be some other issues with those browsers. And sometimes you have to uninstall them it's just the way it is if they're so badly broken you have to uninstall them remove all the remnants and then reinstall them it's just the way it is some malware is more destructive than others so i'm just going to go in here and i'm going to quickly uh, reset uh, the actual uh, browser here for edge and we can go back in and i'll just quickly check uh, google chrome to make sure everything is okay there because i did start to run that scan there we go no harmful software or infections found on the browser so next up I'm just going to quickly run uh, the Farbar recovery scanning tool and this is just to see how the cleanup process is going see if there's anything that I've missed or the app software has missed when they've been scanning so I'm just going to quickly do for the latest 90 days and check the BCDs and also sig check and stuff like that I'll do a, a check on this stuff and run a scan now you can run this at the very beginning if you wish if that's the way you want to do it you can do uh, but I'm trying to keep this as basic as possible for for the general uh, beginner out there that wants to get their computer clean or for someone who wants to learn how to clean malware off uh, an easier way so what you get is these logs this is a little bit more advanced so you might want to skip this process process if you are uh, a sort of beginner but basically this will give me uh, some uh, notepad files with a bunch of information inside here which I can now investigate and look at and see where there's problems uh, on the system if there is any left so what I'm going to do here is have a look and I can see there is some restrictions here Google restrictions uh, group policy restrictions and there's a bunch of other stuff in there which I'm not going to go too deeply into because it takes a bit of time and I can already see there is some other content inside here which needs to be removed and there was a bunch of stuff in here that needed to be removed off the system so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect all of this information put it into a fix me uh, notepad basically and run the fix list on the software so that's what I'm going to do here so I'm going to copy some of this stuff and put it into a fix list doc and there we go it's listed right there and all I need to do now is click fix and this will fix 
all of the issues which I've put in there which I want to rectify okay now this is a complete different video in all its by itself this will be a complete uh, video on its own how to run this program and how to use it properly it's not for the beginners really but basically I wanted to use it to try and get this system as clean as possible okay so that's now all run and I've checked it and everything's doing okay the system is virtually clean there's probably going to be a couple of remnants left behind uh, like readme files and other stuff like that which could be detected or a couple of registry files which are not connected to anything so what I'm going to do here is just check the programs and features you can see that's all cleaned up nicely now and all I need to do now is run a scan with ESET online scan I'm definitely going to do that and also when I run um, ESET's uh, tool here as well and another thing that I want to do is also clear out any sort of restore points on the system if you've got restore points on here which were created some time ago you want to delete those I try not to delete them at the beginning and that's just in case something goes wrong and I need to revert back so I'm just going to delete them now I know the system is back into my control and uh, the order malware is basically gone so I'm going to remove all the system restore points and then you can create a new one calling it clean or whatever you want to call it okay now if I do find that there's bunches of more malware on the system I will delete this uh, clean one and remove that and create a new one but I'm just doing that just to get a safety net and remove all the old stuff uh, from out of the system restore points so all I need to do here is get uh, ESET online scanner now this is another great way of checking uh, with uh, other types of virus database or malware databases from different companies and we'll just run this and see whether there's any sort of remnants left behind so I'm just going to get started with this one and let it run so I'll run two more bits of software and I think this system will be back to normal it's running pretty sweet now that's nice and clean so I'm just going to quickly say no thanks for this and also disable feedback system this is just to speed the process up but you want to give them feedback it's entirely up to you okay so it's important I do a full scan here and I want to also detect potentially unwanted programs and things like that so I'm going to run a full scan on here and let this run a scan okay this will take some time but it's worth doing a full complete scan to make sure that we've got rid of a lot of stuff here so I'm also going to run MCSoft emergency kit here it's important that we get all the latest updates and I'll quickly speed this process up all that it found was a few registry keys to uh, malware or adware which in this case was pups and it removed those already they've been removed from the system so these registry files are not going to do any harm to the system whatsoever but I just want to clean it up and remove them so I'm going to quarantine these and uh, also delete these so they're all gone okay so it's important to remove those there's no executable files there there's no malware or adware running on the system so the system is being completely cleaned and it's the same thing for this this was just the same files that it found and also um, registry files which a couple of them which was the same I just detected with uh, the MCSoft so there was no real difference there and that's it that's basically cleaned all that system up I'm going to give this a five star rating I do like the MCSoft online scanner and that's basically how you can clean any sort of malware infection on your computer by just using the free software that you see in this video and some knowledge on what to remove from the computer manually you will need to remove stuff manually as well as using those programs you can't just run one program or even just two programs you need to know what you're doing it's a pretty bit lengthy process and if that person is using online banking on that computer you may want to uh, tell them to uh, reinstall Windows as a safety precaution and get them to change uh, their passwords at their banks and the reason why you want to do that is because obviously it's really risky if there's any sort of remnants left behind and you don't know 100% for sure that that system is clean but I can pretty much say that this system is 100% clean I've just got process explorer on there there's nothing basically showing up and I've done a thorough uh, check of the system and it's 100% uh, clean and free from malware now again if you're one of these people that don't want to put the time and effort into removing malware and you just want to reinstall Windows and be up and running again and you don't have much on your system by all means go ahead and do that but some people do have systems with a ton of programs on and a ton of settings and they don't want to go through all of that process of reinstalling everything so cleaning it 
is an option for those and it can be done you just have to be patient and know what you're doing and these processes can sort of change a little bit uh, due to different types of malware infection and what is happening to the computer when it's infected anyway that's going to be about it for this video my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this one's been useful and helpful to you if it is then give it a thumbs up and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos Thank <laughs> you.